if someone catches us, I'll disavow any knowledge of this robbery. Normally I wouldn't try to open this safe. That's acting like a thief. We don't have much choice, though. Anyway, no one would ever think of accusing a teacher's familiar, so you don't have to worry about being caught. Uh... I wonder what makes this so valuable that it has to be locked up in a safe. We found the caretaker's most treasured possession. According to rumor, he uses this to read the magical rune writing. If that's true, you should be able to read the map on the wall now. I can! I understand the magical writing. This will be a big help in our research. And I can read the notebook we found. Huh. It looks like it has a recipe for a shape-shifting potion. But I think the caretaker will be furious if he finds us playing with his magical circlet. Who cares? If he finds us, this means we won't be alone anymore. And if we're not alone, we won't need the circlet. So we can just give it back to him. But for now, we can really use this. It'll let us read the pages with the instructions on how to brew the shape-shifting potion.
Earlier, you said something spooky about the students who tricked you. Wh what do you plan to do to these students? Those students who locked me up will know the wrath of a dragon when I finally become one. Become one? Huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, when I will turn back into a dragon. <laughs> Lydia, did you hear that? Yes, what was it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we aren't as alone as we think. I can read what's written now. It says... Inspired by the majestic dragons, the mages who built this academy created the school ideals. The great mage Nightingale claimed wisdom to be the first ideal. Winter Owl declared the second ideal would be power. Then they both agreed magic couldn't be used without balance. Nightingale! Zack, is your master one of his heirs? My master? Oh, my master! Yes, the Nightingale who built this academy was his ancestor. Do as the Guardians told you and open the trial room door. Let's hope this works. In just a few seconds, it'll be open. If I'm right, the instructions they gave us go like this. Turn your key three times, knock on the floor, and point at the gem. Whoa, awesome! It shattered the door! I am so stressed. I hate tests. Come on, Lydia. We don't have a choice if we want to thwart Nathaniel's plans. Zack, Nathaniel's not responsible for this. I'm positive he... How can you still doubt? that he used the Guardians to make sure no one would come disturb him while he pursues his evil plans. Good thing for us he forgot about you, Lydia. It's clear he never thought you would pass the trial by yourself and try to stop him. Zack, enough! Nathaniel is one of the sweetest people I know, and he's my best friend's father. I'll not stand here and listen to you badmouth him. But... But nothing. I'm sure he'll explain what's happening in this school once we find him. Now, let me concentrate on this trial. The foundation of Dragon Vale Academy rests on three specific values. Each student should follow the path of the founders and remain true to those values. What are they? The path that one must follow to become a great wizard is very difficult. What would you be willing to sacrifice to become one? What's happened to the mages, Nightingale, after he mastered the wizardry?
pass the first trial. Yeah, but there are still two more to go. Sheesh, could you be more negative? Sure. Even if you complete these trials, the Guardians might not let us pass. <sighs> what on earth have I done to deserve a cowardly and depressed dragon as a companion? A dragon? I'm just a damn wolf! And the way things are going, I doubt that's going to change anytime soon. Just be a little more patient. We're getting there. Soon we will be in the upper part of the Academy, and there will be plenty of people to help you. I'm really starting to enjoy this. Since we have the notebook used by the students who brew the potion that transformed me into a wolf, and since we have the circlet to read and understand what is written in the book, you could make another potion for me so I can finally be turned back into a dragon. Would you please do this for me? Please! I don't believe it would be a wise thing to do, Zack. I'm no student, even less a mage. We lose nothing to try. I'm sorry, but I will not brew a potion that could make things worse for you. But Lydia... However, I am willing to gather the missing notebook pages and ingredients needed for the potion. That way I'll only have to find a mage with the knowledge to brew it. Okay. Thanks, Lydia. What was that? Huh? 
Look, what did you scream for? You made my heart skip a beat. I... I heard something weird when the door vanished. Zack, quit it. I already told you, there are no ghosts. Where are we? I don't know. I never came here before. Why are you still whispering? We're not supposed to sneak, you know. Does anybody hear me? Shh! Be quiet! You will attract unwanted attention on us. Uh, that's what I want. The point here is for someone to find us. It's funny, Celeste's parents had a wine cave like this where we used to play when we were young. Good for them! And now that we know it's empty, we can leave this place. Astavio must be the owner of these barrels. Wow, what a huge cauldron. It must be really heavy. Is there anything to eat in it? I'm starving. Well, unless you can survive on dust and cobwebs, you're going to have to wait. Gah. This cauldron is way too heavy for me to carry it. This cauldron is way too heavy for me to carry it.
This school is full of wonders. I hope someone notices this. If you are as gifted at magic as you are at fixing broken machines, you'll become a famous and powerful mage. 